great practices as well for, my, for myself is actually the Kugaratas. Because they're quite clear for me. I think we often think about it as an eight, right? But for me, that, that is a bit unclear when does the actions actually go together. So just as an exercise, I'm thinking it very clear as a diagonal line from one hip to another. And now only just the rotation around my spine going back. And now, and now another diagonal and a rotation. You can see my lines already, my hip is already aligned. So it just has to go, that hip has to go to the ball of the foot. Now I do rotation around that leg. And now I transfer there. Around that leg and transfer there. Because I sometimes see that the rotation gets into the movement. No. Rotation, now transfer. Rotation, now transfer. So an eight is not like, sorry, it's not an eight like this. It's an eight like this. Yes. Half circle with a diagonal in the This middle. is the eight. <laughs> like an infinity sign stretched. <laughs> yes. A good question. Are you thinking of this as a, as a weight transfer first and then as a um, pendulum? Or are you thinking of this as a pendulum action? So if we're just talking pure kokoracha, right? I don't transfer. I don't think about it as a weight transfer because I don't want to transfer too much weight, right? So it's literally just a pendulum that goes from one to another, and then a pendulum there, into rotation. Into rotation. Into rotation. Yeah. But let's say, for instance, if I have kokoranchas, and then the last one, I now have to time that pendulum together with the weight transfer. So that's why it's a big difference. For instance, if I'm, we're just doing kokoranchas together, you see how our hips are tied together. But now if I want to go into a fan, I have to show that I actually move my whole weight onto that foot. And my hip is again forward. So I can now use that as a rotation to take the step up. Yes. Yeah? So that, that idea of the diagonal line forward into rotation is quite, it's quite clear once you get that picture. Because that's exactly what I do when I take a step here. This is the same. If I, if I just do like that, it's the same position. Yeah? So now from here, I literally just do a diagonal line of my hip. Whoops. Now I do a clear rotation. One, chica, one. Yeah? Now the next thing here, same thing. And now just from here, yeah, I do here, do the rotation. A little bit pendulum. One. And now the rotation. One. Here, same thing. Pendulum into rotation. So once I get that pattern, that clockwork, as I say, into my body, everything is much more timed together, and I can then add the mechanics. Yeah. So for sure, we totally for all these need that in addition to whatever. We just feel there has to be a bit more attention to the work that's that's underneath and the injury going on. Yeah. Okay. We have to finish? One hour is never really enough. But yeah. if you take just a simple note for yourself, simplify, clarify, and time together. That's going to solve really a lot of the problems and it's going to give you a lot more togetherness, mm -hmm. which we, of course, enjoy, right? We so didn't have time to do it, but even yes. try it together, try the New York sections. Because it's quite a clear idea of rotation into pendulum swing. Arrive there. So now I can actually rotate around that leg. Yeah, and that's where we see some swing Whoa, going on. Yes. But it's actually not clear that I'm getting onto that foot. And from there, I use it. I get back onto that foot, which is just a replace. So I can now use that underneath. Yeah, that's what we see from here. And now we're already opening up. No, getting there. Getting there, use that leg. Get back onto that foot and use that. Yeah, again, the only thing that I'm thinking is, Diagonal, now I rotate, diagonal, now I go back, now I rotate, diagonal, rotate. That's what works in my feet and in my hips. Yeah? Vera? All right. Okay. Thank Hope you for your time. Good.